let us see this a little bit more holistically when it comes to sanctions in schools. As for the, all of the stuff you said about speech rights and things, you're preaching to the converted. Because I am not saying that speech rights should not be respected. But this is a particular context within a particular uh, uh, um, uh, culture with their codes and regulations. I don't know the GES codes and regulations. But my point is that we must look at this, uh, we must seek more information before we are condemnatory to begin with. Our instincts tell us that, but if the kids are only, uh, uh, it, they may have said something egregious, and, uh, and therefore it needs not to be so heavy-handed. Uh, of course, on one hand, I agree. But on the other hand, I am saying that GES or Secondary schools have rules and regulations about what is misconduct and how many strikes you can have before you are dismissed. Okay. So putting it in the realm of the law, I'm not so sure where, because there are lots of things that um, schools determine that if it was a normal society, it would be an infringement on your freedom, how people exercise their religious during school context and all of that. So let's be very careful in the arguments that we're making. Okay. For me, the central point is, do we know whether the G, what the GES code says about certain behaviors, including social media use, including uh, using mobile phones while in secondary school? This is not the first viral video of secondary school students that I have seen, and I get very, very surprised at how students in secondary boarding schools sometimes, maybe uh, uh, day schools, have access to mobile phones uh, in order to produce those things. Because, like I said, in a lot of schools, mobile phones are banned in school. Okay? So let's focus on that. Let's also focus on what this case raises about the uncivil nature of public discourse that these kids are picking up, especially in our political discourse. And thirdly, let's educate kids about social media and its implications. Like I said, if this thing had been said among uh, the school children, we would still say it's, in, it's um, uh, terrible behavior if we overheard it. But it will not seem as egregious as when it is published, and we need to teach our children media and information literacy skills so that we cut down on some of these behaviors.